It is an honor to speak to you today about my sister, Jackie. As I was reflecting on the time I was blessed to have spent with Jackie, my heart smiles from the inside out. She was hilarious, and anyone who knew her would agree. I miss her smile, amazingly positive attitude, and her little giggle. I'm so thankful to God that our family had 17 years with this beautiful girl who would light up a room. I want to share a few stories about Jackie with you. Jackie often went to morning mass with my grandmother. One day at the grocery store, when she was about four, she said to my mom, there's Marsha. There was nobody her age around. Turns out it was somebody she met at daily mass and she considered her friend. It was someone my grandmother's age that she had met. She was a special girl with an old soul who brought everyone together. Jackie also had a quick wit, which I am pretty sure she gets from my dad. We were out to eat and Jackie ordered soup of the day for dinner and our order was taking forever. Jackie kept asking when her food would come. Finally, she said, by the time it comes, it will be soup of the night instead of soup of the day. Jackie was a huge movie lover and could remember movie quotes. Some of her favorite movies were Dumb and Dumber, Tommy Boy, and Office Space. She also liked Saturday Night Live and would perform some of the skits privately for our family. There are many special songs that remind me of Jackie. One of them is Kiss by Prince. It makes me laugh because she was so fearless. She lip synced and danced to that song at my friend's wedding to kick off their wedding dance in 1999, five months before she died. She wore an old belly dancing costume and was amazing. The DJ's comment was, watch and learn. Jackie was strong, vibrant, energetic, selfless, brave, and beautiful. She loved her friends, family, and above all, God. Her faith was strong and unwavering, even in the end. Her courage during her battle with cancer was remarkable, especially at her tender age. Her attitude remained positive throughout. When she received the news after surgery at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, which was the worst of the three outcomes, Jackie's response was, we will move to plan B. She was building our family up and helping us to stay strong while fighting for her life. When she returned home to Bismarck, she found out that I was expecting our first child. She was so excited to be an aunt. That is what she talked about nonstop. Jackie wanted to buy clothes for the baby and decided red would be a good color for a boy or girl. Spencer, my son, was born in May, right before what would have been her graduation in 2000. I know Jackie would be so proud of her nieces and nephews, Spencer, Eva, Maddie, and Gavin. Jackie died on November 3rd, which was a Wednesday, and there was an all-school mass at St. Mary's in her honor. 
The doors opened and kids came from both BHS and CHS who knew Jackie to join the student body in the gym for mass. A St. Mary's teacher at the time said she had never seen anything like that before. Jackie's courageous spirit lives on in our days, months, and years. I pause in amazement oftentimes throughout my days as I think of this beautiful teenager, the same age as some of you, being so brave, courageous, positive, and God-loving as she battled this illness. Anyone who knew Jackie is forever changed in some way, whether more positive, helpful, or kind. I am a better person having known Jackie, and for that, I am so very thankful. I have many memories of her that I have shared with my children. One of them is that we call oyster crackers, Jackie crackers. When Jackie was little, she loved oyster crackers and we started calling them Jackie crackers and it stuck. I hope this gives you a little glimpse into the person and family behind the Jackie Doctor Memorial Scholarship. My family would like to thank everyone for taking the time to apply for the scholarship. There were many talented individuals and the decision is never easy to select only one. The random acts of kindness piece was what Jackie was all about. Everybody has a story and no one knows what others are going through. That is why it is so important to be kind. Showing resiliency is how we overcome obstacles in life, no matter how big or small. Joshua 1.9 tells us, this is my command, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. I am pleased to announce the recipient of the Jackie Doctor Memorial Scholarship for 2020. Congratulations to Joel Huber. I know you will do great things. Remember, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Oh, and the next time you have a Jackie Cracker, ask yourself, what have I done today to help someone out, build someone up, or put a smile on someone's face? Thank you and best of luck to the class of 2020.